I'm Jo and welcome to my April wrap. Hi guys! Like I said, welcome to my April wrap up. Happy to report that I did much better with my reading progress this month. Um, okay, I read I Am Number Four by Trevor Negus. Put the cover up here for you. Um, this one I got from NetGalley. So this counts both for my NetGalley TBR reading challenge but also for the clock reading challenge because it gets me my number four and it was a really good read so really happy with that one um the other book that i read which counts towards my net galley tbr is the librarian da -da, by valerie i don't i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the surname for this one you can see it here on the graphic um I, I don't know I know that I'm gonna pronounce it wrong so I will just leave it written up there for you um, so this one also a really good read really enjoyed this one um, so yeah very happy with these two for my net galley progress uh, and also like I said uh, I am number four gets me number four for my clock reading challenge this year which means I am nicely um, nicely placed for both challenges so far um i also read um another kindle book which is this one right here the xo lifestyle guide 50 mini targets to live extraordinarily this is by emma shakespeare this is one that i picked up on amazon um, because I was in the mood for reading a non-fiction and uh, I'm very much this year into improving myself uh, okay so on a, a journey with myself to try and be the best me that I can be and so I've been looking into non-fiction books like this one this one popped up on the feed of um, the Amazon free reads for the month and uh so i was like yeah let's have that um it was a very quick read but also a nice one i like this one i felt inspired afterwards i will do a full review for this one but um yeah it was good so that was nice to add to my list there as well the other book that i read this month which actually wins the best read of the month um, because this was a five star for me. This is Thanks for the Memories. Um, I have done a full review for this one already, so I will link that up for you. Um, and I won't go too much more into it in this one, but um, this was my favorite read of the month. They were all good reads. They were all good reads, but this one, this one wins for April. So, um, anyway. I'm interested to see at the end of the year what's going to be my book of the year this year. It's, I've read I've read already so many good books. Um, it's going to be curious to weigh it all up at the end. But um, yeah, so this is what gets first place for me this month, and I'm definitely checking out more of her work. Um, also. Can we just take a moment to appreciate flowers my husband got me yesterday? Aren't they gorgeous? I said I wanted a bit of colour out on the balcony because I have a lot of green plants out on the balcony and so uh, he got me some colour. Obviously he got red and yellow because it's Rome colours and he is an AS Roma supporter and so obviously he went for those but they're rather pretty. Um, let's see, in other news, what happened? Oh, so many things happened in April. It was a really um, busy month with lots of uh, different things going on. Um, something else that uh, I decided in April, finally, I'd been talking about it a lot since the beginning of the year because it's something I've been thinking about for a while now, um, and that is my website okay so my blog um, 
I use Jo Linsdell as my brand um, and I always have um, based on the fact that I have I have a lot of in a lot of different interests and things and also because I wanted um, to have the freedom to diversify in things later on should I want to um, and yeah so I decided I in the past I had various different blogs and things which um, all went very well it was a good learning experience um, I had for example the writers and authors blog um, that I won a lot of awards for that one um, and got a lot of recognition should we say within the blogging community um, and so I really enjoyed that but I didn't that was it was all about writing and authors and books yes which I am very interested in but um, I also wanted to be able to diversify in other things now in the past I had had a, another blog as well which was about Rome because obviously I live in Rome Italy um, as the Romans do which um, I was enjoying doing didn't get that far with that one just because I had so many other projects that I was working on and so I just didn't have the time to dedicate to it fully to build the brand and thing and the same thing I had the mums club which was another one which I did which is about parenting and things like that but also about you know, house and home and fashion and beauty and things like that and so um, with the Joe Linsdale brand I've always kept it as my name because I want it to represent me fully and whilst um, I used it principally to concentrate on talking about books and blogging um, which is why I gave it kind of like a subtitle of books and blogging um, up till now because that's been like the main scope of it um, but I decided that for me it's just too much work to have lots of separate things going on so I just want like the main hub that's going to include everything and so during April this is I've been doing it's a lot of it's more behind the scenes work for this um, at the moment um, so there's not that much to see that I've done in April on this but there has been a lot of work <laughs> going on behind the scenes uh, gearing up for this okay so um, I have gone back I went briefly back to being Joe's world which uh, was my original title for my site um, when I had a tripod site years and years ago um, and but I just it just didn't fit so I just decided that I would go with my name Joe Linsdale and have that as uh, the title of the site as well um, and it incorporates everything so um, like I said I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes for this move I started putting out um, a more varied content I also have the goal of wanting to increase the frequency of my posting and things as well I really want to expand uh, even more and um, you know be more of a professional blogger because I this <laughs> see it's one of those starts as a hobby then you get to like the stage where it's like part hobby part professional and everything and I want to make the move into being professional blogger 100% and that is you know that's what I do so um, I've been moving a lot of stuff uh, with that doing lots of brainstorming lots of planning um, also um, creating content for the other categories that I want my blog to hit on as well so um, I mean books and blogging is it's always going to be like my main uh, thing because that is like my that's what I do the most <laughs> um, but at the same time for example travel comes into it a lot um, from the point of view as apart from the fact that I like to travel although I don't get the chance to very often but um, so I like to take advantage of the fact that I live in Rome in Italy 
where there is, you know, literally not enough days in a lifetime to see everything that this city has to offer. So I like to be a local tourist um, and go out and explore the various different things, whether it's events or museums or just, you know, monuments that just happen to be around the city and stuff. I love um, getting into that. Um, my youngest particularly as well is very interested in um, museums and history and things like that. So uh, we go off on little adventures and get yeah, local tourists. So I wanted to kind of bring that in as well. And also because I love living in Rome, you know, um, I grew up in the UK and miss the UK a lot, I have to say, but um, sorry about the dogs, you know, if you know, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, it's, it's a way that I can embrace my adopted city um and also i hope that i will be able to travel more and go to other places as well both other cities in italy but also um just travel in general i want to see the entire world but um anyway so i want to incorporate that into the blog as well um also as you may have realized even if you just see like a few of my recent videos on the channel I have a bit of an obsession with experimenting with my hair and things like that. Um, I have fun doing these things, um, whether it's cutting my own hair or dyeing my own hair. Um, it, I just have fun with it. Also, um, years and years and years ago, I used to do some modeling and things. So I also like playing around with different looks with makeup and things like that as well. Um, again, I don't have as much time as I would like to have to dedicate to these things and experiment with them. Um, and so for me, it's not feasible to do a separate site based solely on that. Um, but I, so I want to incorporate all these different elements into my site anyway. And so, um, yeah, April included a lot of behind the scenes work on that. And obviously I'm going to update, um, some of the pages on my site and things like that as well. I'm also trying to go through um, all the posts on the site as well as part of my whole blog audit, which I do as a continuous thing. I've done challenges as an open event for everyone to join into in the past. You can find out um, about those. They're still valid today, um, the various years that I've done it in the past. So you can jump on those um, and apply it to this year. Um, so things to update uh, constantly. One thing that I have noticed during this month that um, really kind of shocked me was the fact that as that literally the day that I started tweaking the site and making um, minimal changes to incorporate this new branding of the site and everything. Um, my advertising went, um, it increased by like 500%. The, um, what I'm getting, I mean, we're still talking, we're still talking cents here, people. We're not like, this isn't big money <laughs> doing this. I can't remember the exact amount, but if before, maybe, you know, I was getting a couple of cents a day, um, through AdSense or whatever, it suddenly just like peaked and I was like, oh my God, there's a number before the point, you know, like actual like solid euros as opposed to just the cents part, <laughs> um, which for me was just like, okay. So it was the sign that I needed to like, yes, I am doing the right thing with the site here. Um, so yeah. It's interesting. Also, um, one of the first posts that I put up um, in my travel category, I mean, I have mentioned travel before, obviously, on the site over the years, but um, recent post, which was specific to the travel category, uh, which also mentions books, though, because, you know, bookaholic. But um, that is actually turned into one of, like, my most popular posts of the month. So, um, and quite quickly as well. So that was really interesting to see as well. So I, I 
don't know. It's it's a bit of an experiment, people. You know, I like experimenting, and I will report back on the various different things um, that I notice from the tweaks that I make and things that I learn through all of this. Um, because also because there's always been this thing about being a niche blog and things, and there's lots of pros and cons to it. And I have done a lot of research into that, so I think I will probably do a separate video to talk about the difference between niche blogs and you know your multi-topic blogs as well there's lots of pros and cons um but so anyway for me personally i've decided that the multi-topic is the way to go um so i would also like to know from you guys um i have done a couple of vlogs vlogs and things last year um the vlogs i found just it was too much doing that but would you like to see also on the channel um, more like travel related um, videos and things or maybe reviews of other products as well like beauty products or hair products or whatever as well I would love to see what you guys um, think about this because this channel has been mostly uh, booktube um, so I don't know give me your feedback down below and let me know um, what your thoughts are about all this um, because obviously I don't want to lose the following of book lovers that I have uh, created over the years and things and I will like I said that's still like a huge huge part of uh, what Jolin still is the whole books and blogging thing is definitely still my principal um, thing at the moment so uh, don't worry <laughs> that's not going away uh, but uh, yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think about all these changes and stuff like that And also if, do you have any tips? Have you done a rebranding? Uh, on your site and things and have some tips and advice that you can share with me and with all of us about um, Ways to make it go more smoothly and things that you've learned by doing it and everything I would love to hear your thoughts about this as well Okay, so anyway that is it for this wrap up um, a lot of stuff to take in I know but uh, thank you for joining me and hopefully I will have lots of things to share with you in the May wrap up so anyway thanks again for watching and I will see you next time bye